हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर एजुकेटर बुरहानुद्दीन एंड इट्स टाइम टू क्रैम दिस इज अ सीरीज ऑफ एसिड बेस एंड सॉल्ट चैप्टर टू क्लास टेन एंड दिस इज द टेंथ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ दिस सीरीज सो इन टू डेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टेक्सुअल क्वेश्चन on chemical properties of acid and base which are given on page number 22 of ncert textbook so let's do a quick revision that what i had covered in my previous video lecture i had completed introduction part then after chemical properties of acid and bases then i had done a rapid revision of chemical properties of acids and bases these are the list of topic which i had covered in chemical properties of acid and bases if you want to learn chemical properties of acid and bases in detail then click the i button and check it or else link of this video lectures are also given in description box so before i start questions on chemical properties of acid and base you should watch my rapid revision video on chemical properties of acid and base which will be very helpful and to watch that video click the i button or the link of this video is also given in the description box so kindly check it before starting this video so these are the question which we are going to cover in this video lecture question 1 why should curd and sour substances not kept in a brass and copper vessel so to answer this question first you have to understand the question that what is asked in the question curd and sour substances means means the substances are acids and brass and copper are metals so to answer this question you should remember reaction of acid with metal so let's see the answer curd and other sour substances contain acids therefore when they are kept in brass and copper vessel the metal react with acid to liberate hydrogen gas and harmful products thereby spoiling the food so as i already discussed that when metal will react with acid then it will produce salt and hydrogen gas and harmful products so that curd and other sour substances are not kept in brass and copper vessel let's see an example that if zinc which is metal will react with h2so4 then it will produce zinc sulfate which is salt and hydrogen gas which is h2 hope you understand let's see next question so let's see question number 2 which gas is usually liberated when an acid react with metal illustrate with an example how will you test for the presence of this gas so there are three sub question asked in this question first which gas is usually liberated when acid react with metal so as we had seen in previous question that when acid will react with metal hydrogen gas will liberate and salt is produced so answer is hydrogen gas now we have to illustrate with an example so let's see the example and how to test the presence of this gas so as we had seen this activity of acid with metal if you want to learn this activity in brief then click the i button so let's see the activity so in a test tube take zinc granules and add 5 ml of dilute h2so4 in that test tube and then shake it and pass the evolved gas into the soap solution with the help of delivery tube so hydrogen gas will be produced and we have to pass that hydrogen gas to the soap solution through the delivery tube so bubbles will be formed these soap bubbles contain hydrogen gas zinc metal will react with h2so4 it will form zinc sulfate and h2 gas so this h2 gas is passed through the delivery tube now the third question was that how we will test it so to test the presence of hydrogen gas we have to take a burning candle near that bubbles and if the candle will turn off with a pop sound it will confirm the presence of hydrogen gas so this was the answer to the second question now let's see the third question metal compound a react with dilute hydrochloric acid to produce effervescence the gas evolved extinguishes a burning candle write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction if one of the compound formed is calcium chloride so in this question the hint is already given just we have to find it so what it is 
a metal compound will react with dilute hydrochloric acid and hint is the gas evolved extinguishes a burning candle so which gas it is yes carbon dioxide to answer this question first we have to identify that which reaction it is so in which reaction carbon dioxide gas is produced yes in the reaction of carbonate with acid or hydrogen carbonate with acid and what we are asked here to write a balanced chemical reaction if one compound formed is calcium chloride so we have to write a chemical reaction to form calcium chloride so to form calcium chloride we have to do the reaction of calcium carbonate with hydrochloric acid then only we will get calcium carbonate so see here calcium carbonate that is co3 is reacted with 2 acl that is hydrochloric acid then from caco3 ca and from acl cl2 will combine and form cacl2 that is calcium chloride which we are asked for and from remaining co3 from calcium carbonate co2 is formed and remaining h2 and o will combine and form h2o so this is the chemical reaction which we have to write so the topic which will be covered in next video lecture is what do all acids and all bases have in common that is 2.2 that's all for today's video lecture thank you and if you find this video lecture informative then like it and share it with your friends and if you are not subscribed to our channel then subscribe it to stay tuned and get latest notification of another video lectures thank you